Welcome to your online art class with me, Mrs. D. Are you ready for today's project? Let's get started. Here's what you'll need for today's lesson. You will need cement, like a sidewalk, a driveway, or a porch. Some chalk. And a broom. Remember, if you don't have any of these supplies, just use some paper, colored pencils, crayons, or markers. Pause the video here until you have all of your supplies ready. Okay, hi everybody. Today we're going to be doing some cement chalk drawings outside. It's such a beautiful day and we have such nice weather, so I thought, hey, why not do some chalk drawing outside? So for this project, all you need is some cement, which I have lots of here, and then also you're going to need some chalk. Um, if you don't have chalk and you don't have a space of cement to work with, you can just use a piece of paper with some colored pencils, some crayons, or some markers. And today's project, we're going to talk about the element of art called line, and we're also going to talk about shape. So, stick with me. Are you ready? Let's go. First thing you'll need to do is sweep your space. Okay, let's start by talking about the element of art called line. There are many types of lines we use in drawing. There are vertical lines and horizontal lines. There are diagonal lines that are straight up or straight down, they lean toward the side. There are broken lines and there are thin lines and thicker lines. lines on top of each other are called hash marks or hashtag marks. Drawing lines repeatedly over and over and over can create a pattern. These are the basic lines that we will use today for our art project. Now let's discuss the element of art called shape. We'll begin with the circle family. We have a circle, an oval, and a ellipse, which is a thinly drawn oval. Then we have a dot, which is very small, and much larger, the spot. Next, we have the square family. We have squares, rectangles, which are long squares, thin rectangles, and triangles. You can draw them right side up or upside down. Here's an example of some other lines we'll be using in our art project today. Some lines that curve, some lines that wave, and some lines that bend. Maybe even some curved lines that create a pattern. Okay, now we're ready to start our art project for today. With a piece of black chalk or dark colored chalk, Draw a square, big enough so that you have a lot of space to work with. Next, with an orange piece of chalk near the bottom, draw yourself a square. Then, from each corner, top corner, we're going to draw a horizontal line out to the side and connect them, creating a rectangle. You will now create more shapes by drawing horizontal and vertical lines on each side of our square and rectangle. They should look the same on each side. Now using green chalk, we will be drawing curved lines. One medium, one small, and one large. You can have these in any order you like. Now switching to a fuchsia colored chalk, we will be drawing the letter W on the side of or above each one of our green arc lines, and then connecting them by drawing the letter U from one side to the next. These will be our flowers. If you'd like to add a little bit more detail to your flowers, I'm using yellow chalk. Switching to a blue colored chalk now, I'm going to draw a line from the center of my pot or rectangles out to the edge of each side of my drawing. 
switching to a yellow piece of chalk, I will be drawing a series of yellow diagonal lines across the bottom part of my drawing. I'm going to be creating a pattern here. Now I'm going to go in the opposite direction with my diagonal lines, creating a checkerboard pattern, which later we will come back and fill in at the end of our drawing. Thinking about the background of my drawing, I'm going to use white chalk to draw a series of curved lines to make billowy white clouds. This will create the background, or the sky, portion of our drawing. Remember you can pause the video when you need more time and always begin again when you're ready. Switching back to the green chalk now, I'm going to begin coloring in my outline. Notice how I am going back and forth and around in circles, filling in the whole space, trying to cover as much cement as possible. At this point, you may feel tempted to blow away any chalk dust or use your fingers to blend in your color. But let me warn you, don't do it. Leave that beautiful, wonderful, brightly colored chalk right where it is. Using a darker green, or you can use blue, I'm going to outline the shape of my cactus. After I have it outlined, I'm going to start at the top center and I'm going to just move side to side, gently shading in a shadow, giving my cactus a little bit more dimension. Next, I'm going to pick up that yellow chalk that I used before and I'm just going to give um, some highlighting down the center of my cactus, making it nice and bright, making it look like it's a nice, warm, sunshiny day. Going back to that dark green chalk, I'm going to make little tick marks or tiny short strokes to create the illusion of cacti spikes. This also creates the illusion of texture. Everyone knows you don't want to touch a cactus because they are sharp. Also using the bright green and yellow to create spikes on our cactus creates the illusion of form or three-dimensionality. Or you can see here that the yellow creates beautiful highlights on those spikes. The next thing we're gonna do is take our magenta chalk and fill in our flowers on top of our cactus. Go slow in the corners and nooks and crannies, and then you can speed up toward the middle, shading in much quicker. And don't forget to color in your little yellow circles at the top that are coming out of your flowers. Okay, go ahead. taking some white chalk, let's go ahead and start coloring in our clouds. If you need to get up and walk around to the other side of your square, go ahead. It's a good thing to remember here to take your time. Go slow where you need to and fast where you can, but don't try to get it done too quickly. If you make mistakes, don't worry, just keep on coloring. enough into the chalk so that you are getting it onto the cement. Make sure that you're going round in circles, up and down, and side to side. Taking it slow and easy in areas that already have color. Now that we're finished with our clouds, let's go ahead and grab that blue chalk and fill in the rest of our background all the way down to that blue line. Remember going slow around the edges of your cactus and your clouds and your flower pot to not blend colors too much. If you blend colors a little bit, that's not going to be a problem. Just keep going, using your circles round and round and making strokes left to right and up and down to cover all of that cement. Make sure that you get in between your clouds and your flowers 
in every nook and cranny. We're trying to pack this thing with lots of color. Just go for it. Now remember, this may take you a while. So if you wanna pause the video and color in your background and start the video again when you're ready, go ahead and do that. Or leave the video playing and fast forward it when you need to start again on the next part. filled in, let's start on our flower pot by using orange. First, coloring in the square at the top of each side of our pot. Then we're going to be coloring in just the outer side, bottom rectangle of each pot. Remember to go back and forth and around in circles to really fill it in nicely. Taking a dark red or any darker color than orange, I'm going to gently shade in the outside edge on both sides of my pot. This is creating a little bit of a shadow and once again giving our pot a little bit of dimension or form. Now taking the lightest orange I have in my box, I'm going to trace that rectangle on top and the rectangle on bottom and fill it in nicely with my chalk. Remembering to move around in circles and left and right and up and down, covering as much cement as I possibly can. Notice that I'm not blowing away my chalk dust or blending it in with my fingers. I'm just letting that beautiful chalk dust sit right where it is. Picking up the bright yellow just like we did with our cactus above, I'm going to make a nice sunny highlight right down the center of my pot. Now switching back to the bright orange, I'm just going to blend the darker colors into the lighter colors by moving my chalk back and forth. To finish up our project today, I'm going to be creating a checkered board pattern using yellow and white chalk. With the yellow chalk, I'm going to be coloring in every other diamond shape. I, as you see here, I am marking them off so I don't make the mistake of coloring in the wrong one. Now to finish my pattern, I'm going to be taking the white chalk and I'm going to fill in all the empty spaces, all the leftover diamonds until I have completed my checkerboard pattern. Well, that sure was fun. Thank you for joining me for art class today. Until next time, be creative. Bye. Please share your artwork by emailing sarahdrennan.art at gmail.com or coordinator at bakersfieldfamilymusic.com. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more online art classes.